Amy Elizabeth was a self-made millionaire who accomplished a lot through her extreme money-saving tactics on Extreme Cheapskates Season 2. And she's still finding success today. Even though she had enough wealth to live beyond her comfort, she chose to live like she was scrapping by just to save a dollar. Amy didn't like spending money unless it was absolutely necessary, and she had no qualms about eating cat food. Extreme Cheapskates ran for three seasons on TLC, and Amy was undoubtedly the richest person to ever appear on the show. Even though she had a lot of money, it still came with its sacrifices to get to that point in the first place. Amy didn't take her financial success for granted, which encouraged her penny-pinching ways even more. Amy Elizabeth wrote a book Amy wrote a book titled Poverty Sucks. How to become a self-made millionaire to teach others how to invest in their future and build their wealth. The Extreme Cheapskates alum has a rags-to-riches story that she wanted to share with the rest of the world. As a teenager, Amy found herself broke and homeless, not knowing where her next meal would come from. But once she envisioned a completely different life for herself and put in the time, hard work, and sacrifice, she was on her way to becoming a multi-millionaire, and was able to retire at the age of 38. Does Amy Elizabeth have social media? Amy is active on social media and can be found on Twitter and LinkedIn. She has over 2,000 followers on Twitter and uses her online presence to share her political views and beliefs on current world affairs. According to Amy's LinkedIn page, she lives in Las Vegas, Nevada, and uses her knowledge and skills to help others live the best life possible. Before her time on extreme cheapskates and living life as a retired multi-millionaire, Amy was involved in several business ventures, including owning a nightclub, a pet sitting company, and an indoor plant business. Now, Amy has expanded her experience and resume as an author, consultant, and educator in the world of finance. Her extremely frugal ways have continued to pay off, and she continues to build upon her wealth by investing in real estate and other streams of income. Amy hasn't slowed down or given up on her money-conscious ways since her appearance on Extreme Cheapskates. Amy went overboard to save a dime on Extreme Cheapskates, and her unconventional methods aren't necessarily recommended. She had no issue substituting tuna for cat food, or continually using the same kitchen sponge to wash her dishes until it disintegrated. Such extreme money-saving techniques aren't for everyone, but Amy has proven them to be a recipe for success for her, and it still continues to be. Source. Amy Elizabeth. Twitter. Amy Elizabeth. LinkedIn. Now